guys, Natalie Willis here for the Baby Sleep Trainer. Today, we're gonna to talk about the 10 to 12 month sleep regression. What it is, what it looks like, and how you can address it. People throw around the term sleep regression all the time. Anytime their child isn't sleeping well, they're like, maybe it's a sleep regression. The truth is there's only a handful of regressions that happen for most kids at certain times of their lives. One of those sleep regressions generally occurs around the 10 to 12 month mark. The reason it's happening around this age is because kids kind of go through a really big maturation sometime as they're approaching that year and suddenly they realize that, hey, I have a voice in this world and it causes people to listen to me. My caretakers will come and actually give me what I'm asking for, so I'm gonna exercise this tool that I have. This usually also aligns with the time that a child learns how to uh, pull themselves up to standing and stay standing in their crib. And finally, they tend to have a lot more stamina as they grow older. So all of that comes together into a child who was formerly maybe napping really well twice a day, suddenly fighting one of their naps, usually their second nap, not always, or having other odd behaviors that they didn't have before, like waking up early in the morning or maybe even starting to have some wakeful periods overnight. The 10 to 12 month sleep regression is something that most babies go through, but if parents don't realize it's coming, they're really surprised by it. And unfortunately, a lot of families who have taught their child how to be an independent sleeper before, or even families who didn't but had a child who tended to sleep pretty well, they'll respond to these disruptions in their child's sleep around this age with assistance to sleep. So if your little boy or your little girl suddenly starts fighting sleep and you decide to go back into the room or interact with them more or pick them up or help them fall asleep, guess what? They're going to think, hmm, well, every time I want them to do that, I just need to be really vociferous about this and my parents will come back and interact with me. So it's very, very easy for this sleep regression to turn into a long-term issue. So what can you do to address this issue if your child is going through the 10 to 12 month sleep regression? First of all, make sure that there's nothing else that's going on, especially health or illness wise. Make sure that your child is completely healthy and totally safe. Once you identify that there is no real root cause or reason that your child is suddenly having issues sleeping, if they're around this age, you should probably assume that it's this regression and then you want to do nothing. You don't wanna make any adjustments in their schedule. You certainly don't wanna transition them from two naps to one, which is something that a lot of families tend to do at this age. You just wanna stay the course. And as long as you don't begin to assist your child to sleep again or do a lot of extra interaction, you may have several days of bumpy sleep, maybe several days of a missed first or second nap or some bumps overnight in their sleep. But if you just stay the course, your child will sort of work past it. It's really only when you begin to have a lot of interactions with your child that you then have to play a little bit of catch up. So if you have found yourself having made choices during this time of your, child, of your child's life where they're having a regression, where you're suddenly interacting with them more, once you identify that they're completely healthy and totally safe, and maybe you've even talked with your pediatrician about this issue that your child has started to have, just kind of give them some space. Stop interacting with them as much and give them some space to figure out how to fall asleep on their own. And most importantly, if you have not taken the opportunity to teach your child to be an independent sleeper, which means going down calm, alone, awake in a crib in their room and falling asleep independently, this is a great time to do it because if you haven't taught them that yet and they have this regression, things might get a lot worse and stay a lot worse than they were before. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel.